Don't worry, this is absolutely fine. So I'm going to start out by doing the first eight floors of the abyss because I know there are going to be tons of people coming to me saying, why didn't you try out the first eight floors? What are you, scared? No, it's too easy. There's not going to be much talking in this video because being entertaining and fighting at the same time is kind of hard. Also, it's not very fun trying to talk while a bunch of Hilotros and Fatilia members try to smack you across the face. So this is honestly about to be a cake. Well, I'm I can legitimately use Kaya and one shot him. That was super easy. I actually probably could have used Amber. <laughs> yeah. Are you <laughs> Those abyss mages shields are still the most troublesome thing even at level 40. That's crazy. Oh no. I say that and now there's two of them. Yeah, this ain't that hard. I think the most annoying part will probably be the shields. And also the slimes, because they just love to jump over my arrows. They have some insane accuracy <laughs> with those potions. What? 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 C come on! Thank you. Oh my god, I didn't even get through. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on. Okay, never mind. That just kind of disrespected me a little bit. All right, never mind. I'm not using Amber anymore. I felt a bit disrespected getting only two stars on that chamber. So you know what? I'm going full force now. <laughs> Yeah, got him. Yeah, thank you. Give me my three stars. Freeze. Freeze. Okay. What? Oh. Okay. Oh my god, not the Whopper Flowers. Honestly, one of the most annoying enemies of the game is the Whopper Flower. I'm gonna hit a lot. I'm just tanking everything. It's honestly not good. I'm at very low HP. Oh, I'm dead! <laughs> I died! There. Don't push your luck. There we go. It's only this easy because they're so low leveled. Trust me, as soon as you start getting to the higher level Fatui members, oh my goodness, it becomes a pain. Now floor eight is the final stage before you get to the big leagues, or what I like to call it, hell. So we've reached floor 9, but the difficulty hasn't spiked up too hard for things to be impossible yet. So I think for the most part, you'll be fine if you just have anything in your party that'll be able to break any cryo shields. Because trust me, there are a lot of them. So for the first half, we're gonna have Traveler and Lisa, and then Kaya and Amber for the second half. So here's what you do for this. You place down your rock, and then you jump up as Lisa, and just spam. Spam this. 
try not to enjoy this. And then also throw in some more rocks in between. All right, now go over here because they're attacking this. I think, yeah, all of them follow. All right. For this part, I target out the Samatrol and the Shooter Hilatrols because they are the most annoying enemies if they are left alone. What? Oh my. Oh my. I'm brute forcing my way through all this, which I shouldn't. We're on floor nine now. It ain't gonna work like that, unfortunately. Dodge this! Nice. Basically, you can rinse and repeat what I did for the first part for a lot of this. This is the only way I'm going to be able to... Oh my goodness. I'm not even paying attention to the timer. So for this part, I usually end up focusing on the Cryo Fatui member first, and then I go for the Animo, and then the Electro. Ah, oh, there we go. Three stars. For this part, it would probably be better if I used a pyro character for this, but since I only have Lisa, I'm gonna use her to break down the Cryolotro shields, and then I'm gonna try and kill it with ether before it regenerates its shields again. That almost hit me. And now I'm scared to move because there's lines. And there we go, that's floor 9. Nice. So for floor 10, this is where stuff starts to get stupid. Even though it starts out as the usual break crowd shield and then press mouse 1 to win, don't get too comfortable because as soon as you start getting into the later chambers, the dumbest mechanic in the spiral abyss starts to rear its ugly head around the corner. What? Oh, you sniped- he sniped me from across the map! Oh my god, please have this shield break for the love of Jesus. Thank you. Dodge this! Yowda, nothing. Get out of here. Nice. Three stars, too. Here's what I've always done. The Lisa Ground Pound. Oh my goodness. Nice, she didn't even get to pop her shield. Yes. All right, we're doing well, we're doing well. Now for this part, I like to put rocks under the Pyro Fatui agent so he can take fall damage once I smack him off of it. And then I put another rock under him so I can do the same thing again. And then I dodge the stupid annoying mechanic that I talked about earlier. And then I just keep hitting him until he eventually dies. I didn't mean to get hit by that. You're in for a little shock. You've been a naughty boy. I did not move that entire time because I knew I would have gotten hit. Not this time. Dodge this. Okay, I'm gonna be real right now. I don't think I can get three stars on this. Oh, 
so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Was that it? Ooh, that was, I think that was last second too. That was nice. I would have done it faster if I actually had my pyro set for Amber, but I think it's all right. So we finally reached floor 11 and uh, this one is suffering. Even after coming out with a whole new layout and a buff that could benefit three out of four of my party members, this floor still took a very long time to try and figure out. But anyways, we're gonna have Traveler and Ember for the first half and Kaya and Lisa for the second half. So for this first chamber, I'm gonna go for pretty much whoever. The only thing I really care about is having enough HP by the time I finish this chamber. Mostly because in the next two chambers, I really don't want to end up having a low HP character on my team. Terra Smash! Nope. Wanna taste of my hammer? I messed up. Alright, this is good. I've barely taken any damage with ether. Now let's see what I can do for this. Dodge this. Another test subject. Freeze. Nice! So chamber 2 is where things get very frustrating because of a, a certain somebody. No! But if you want a tip from me, it's best to get rid of the Hydra for 2e agent very quickly. Like, kill him before he pops his shield quickly. And then after all that comes the most tedious part of this. Alright, uh, let's see if we can do this in time. I'm trying to get two stars. I know it's possible to get two stars on this. Try not to enjoy this too Here we go. Yes, two stars. Let's go. Ooh, 
So this last chamber actually really does suck because Moho decided to spawn three Sisson mages all at the same time. But fortunately, this is where Amber's physical damage build comes in. All you have to do is run very far away and spam the Electro Sisson mage with headshots. And as soon as she dies, you can go ahead and start killing the Cryo Sisson mages next. So this is where Kaya and Lisa come in clutch. They are the best for taking down the Abyss Herald's Hydro Shields. I just hope that I can defeat them in time so I can get at least one star. I really wish that attack didn't exist. This is the fourth time you've told us the end is nigh this week. This is possible. This is actually possible. Hold on. Come a little closer. Oh no. Stayed home. Come on. G give me my dodge this. Thank you. One star. We did it. We beat floor 11. Yeah. I was only able to get four stars before, and now I've gotten six. Oh my goodness, this is so- it's possible, it's possible. I'm glad, I'm glad that floor 11 is possible. That's all that I wanted from this. So now that that's done, what about floor 12? Aren't you gonna do floor 12? What are you, scared? Uh... Uh... Uh, yeah, kind of.